Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at the Kuma Fighting Championship standing alongside Kieran Breslin after his impressive third round finish. Kieran, in my opinion, that fight should have been stopped a lot before it was. A long time before it was, sorry. Well, a, f a few times I felt I hit him and he looked a bit wobbly, like, but I'm not a judge, I'm not a referee, I don't know any of that. So, you know, I mean, they know their job better than me, I trust it, but they're in their hands. So, it's down to them. Just one final thing on it, if you were in the opposite situation, would you rather your coaches through the towel and something like that? I'd rather be given every opportunity I had, to be honest. But, I'd say every fighter would say that. Even if it caused them an injury, they'd want to win. Like My first time seeing you live, I'm not sure if that was a, a debut or a second fight. Second fight, yeah. I have to say, one of the things I've noticed, um, coming from the club that you come from, your striking is very, it's straightforward. It's the karate influence. How much do you think that gives you an advantage these days? Because it seems to be the style everyone's adopting, whereas your club is natural origins from that. Definitely, I think it helps. Uh, footwork was a bit sloppy, so he caught me a few takedowns. But the fact that that was my basis, even when I got a bit fatigued, I still was able to try and stop them a wee bit at the last round when he started to get tired. So I felt it really helped keep it standing when I needed to be standing. Later part of the fight, you were caught in a very deep armbar. I thought you were comfortably winning the fight up until that part and it was going to be a, a sad end. Was it close? Uh, my arms, I'd say my armbar is the best thing I am at getting out of. Uh, I worked on it a lot, getting out of armbars, and I'd say I'm pretty confident in that. In my first fight, he had a deep armbar and I got out of it as well. So maybe just work on not getting into them, but I can get out easy enough. And talk to me about the finish. You swarmed him with a lot of shots. It seemed like he was going down very easy and pulling guard. And then um, there was an incident when you, the referee stepped. What, what did the referee say to you there? Because it looked like he hadn't broken up the action and you were going to get back in. As far as I'm aware, I'd, st I'd stood up and he was standing up himself. I didn't know the referee had, had called to stand up. So in my mind, I was going to stand up either way. And then I, w I saw he was a bit slow standing up. So I went to jump in for a shot. I didn't realise he'd called the stand up. So obviously I couldn't have hit him. But I didn't, I didn't hear him and he must have thought I was just being a wee bit dirty. Excellent, Kieran. Well, as I said, a very impressive fight. Uh, the strikes in particular. Do you think the groundwork is something we're going to work on But for the next fight? He had, he had your back for a while. He, he had the submission attempt. That first round, he got my back and I, I struggled to get out. Like, But I knew if I just kept working and didn't let him land any shots or, or get it in, it either I would eventually tire him out or it would get stood up. Excellent, Kieran. Well, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.